Hey there, I uh, hope you're doing well. My name is Krishna, I run the engineering team at Snowpal. Uh, in this presentation, we're going to take a look at some of the APIs offered by Snowpal. We are a backend as a service provider, and our intent is to do most, if not all, of the backend heavy lifting for you. So you can actually focus on your core customer problems. So whether you're building a web app, mobile app, or server side app, you can leverage our APIs to reduce your time to market significantly. Here's a list of our APIs in production, and this list is constantly growing. Uh, we have six at this point, Building Blocks API, Content Management API, Project Management API, Conversation API, Classroom API, and Status API. So it doesn't matter what you're trying to solve. Uh, it's likely that one of these APIs or a combination of these APIs are gonna hold you in good stead. For instance, you can start with Building Blocks and get a feel for it. Uh, and it's, it is industry agnostic, uh, and, and business agnostic, right? What I mean by that is uh, whether you're building an app or a web app, mobile app or server set app, like I said earlier, it doesn't matter what you're building and it doesn't matter who you're building it for, right? Maybe it's for the restaurant industry, whether it's for the pharmaceutical industry, whether it's for the uh, hotel industry or the project management industry or whatever, uh, you should be able to use, say, the Building Blocks API to get started. Uh, at the same time, we also have business-centric APIs like content management API and project management API, for instance, that are that have more domain uh, specificities, right? So you can check that out if you're building something that's very specific to those areas, or if you're building solutions that also has a content management component or a project management component, even if it's not entirely so. Um, similarly, or along those lines, if let's say you're building an application, you got everything that you need, you build that in house, you need a conversation ability, right? You need uh, a feature, you want to support a feature where your users can actually chat with each other, like in-app conversations, whether it's on mobile or on the web or anywhere else. For that, you can very simply integrate uh, the conversation API and get you going. Next one is a classroom API. If you're in the ed tech industry, if you're uh, you know catering to the teacher, or the market of uh, professors and teachers and tutors and students, that's gonna be a good place to start because it's got a lot of features around creating classrooms, uh, managing your classes, adding students, collaborating with other teachers, and a plethora of other feet, uh, such items that relate to classrooms, um, assigning, you know, creating custom uh, grading scales, uh, publishing assessments, uh, ass uh, assigning grades and publishing grades to students, comparing student performances within a student and across students and, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, the next one, status API, is if you're building, let's say, a Slack application to manage statuses, that's actually a good one to start with. It's got about 70 endpoints. Uh, compared to the other ones that have like uh, over 300, 250, 350 endpoints. Collectively, there's th over 1,300 plus endpoints at this point, and that, list, that number is constantly growing. So that gives you an idea of the breadth of the problems you could potentially solve using our APIs. So get started. Again, like I said, the number is six, and the endpoints are like close to 1,500 or 1,350 or something along those lines at this point. But every time you're going to come revisit, you're going to see that the API count increases and the endpoints also increase because we are solving helping you solve more and more of your problems without you having to spend time, money, and effort and resources on the service side, maintaining, managing, staffing, hiring, and training uh, folks to building these systems for you. Uh, we looked at this briefly. Uh, essentially, you can take, you know, uh, take a deeper look at these slides. Uh, the Building Blocks API has over 350 endpoints. And that is a pretty good starting point for solving generic problems. And we, we uh, talked about it a couple of minutes ago, right? So I'm just going to skip through the next one. Uh, the content management API, it's got over 300 endpoints. If you're building content management solutions or solutions that have a need for some variation or sense of content management, then this is going to actually be pretty useful for you. The next one is the project management API. Um, so this one has... 250 endpoints at this point, uh, and if you're building solutions that have that have a need for Kanban and scheduler and bulk actions and just uh, the typical things and the atypical things that you would expect from project management systems, this is a good API to get started with. And again, you can mix and match these APIs and endpoints, right? You start with one, you find that you could use an endpoint and on the API, you can very easily integrate it, uh, all our APIs in our ecosystem. It actually takes no more than like 10 minutes to get started with any of these APIs. The EdTech, the, the Classroom API, we talked about it. Uh, we got, we have, uh, you know, sample code and SDKs that you can take a look at as well. 
Um, if you're building any solution for the ed tech industry, this is actually uh, the first API I would recommend in our ecosystem. The conversation API, we support conversations on our, on our own products using our API, much like we use our other APIs to fire up our uh, applications that have been in production for years, our web apps, mobile apps on the App Store and Play Store, and our APIs on, on AWS Marketplace and other API hubs. All of these uh, rely very heavily on our APIs, so they've been put to test and been used by thousands of users at this point of time. Status API, again, if you're building Status is, you know, it's just, it's a lot more than just knowing who did what, right? You need to know which team is performing uh, better than the other, better than other teams, who, which, who in your team is, is the best performer. So you can, you know, award them with bonuses and whatnot. Uh, who needs help? Who's blocked today or uh, who has been blocked generally most of the time so they can get that additional help. All of those kinds of things get answered by these, uh, by the uh, status API. Um, that's it for this uh, video. I'll have more that talks about uh, other parts of this ecosystem and the value add we bring to the table. Thank you and go to aws.snowpal.com to check out our APIs on the AWS Marketplace.